Welcome to Apollo Justice, or welcome back to Apollo Justice, I should say. While well, we've um, sorted out the issue with the shoe print, or toe print more accurately. So uh, let's go to the hospital and talk to uh, Nicky Boy. Oh, yeah. Goody. Yeah, everyone's favourite incarnation of Phoenix. Are you sure we're going to that hospital? Um, we're not going Holby City, Joe, but we're going I've, to uh, the Hickville. I thought we were going to the Maractus Clinic, actually, with how's the step no, actually, I, I, don't know what, I wouldn't know what's worse, this or Holby City. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, so, Apollo. <laughs> You're not here to take my spotlight again, are you? I heard you did well in the trial today. Uh, thanks. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Oh, so Phoenix, yes. shouldn't be you lying in your hospital bed? Spons. I am lying in my hospital bed. It's just, well, you, you have, have to, to imagine it right. here. Yeah, pretend he's Tell me what happens. Pretend, pretend that he's in his hospital bed. I, 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 I want to know. I need to know! That's Follow pretty much what a lot of fans were thinking. All in due time, Apollo. Huh, well, you certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. So Apollo's basically Unlike this a game. Ace Attorney fanboy. Alright, let's ask him then. Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. Oh, shit. The, <sighs> the case involved the death of a certain... Magnificent genius. Magnificent? I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. Yeah, it figures. Right as I was starting to get popular, I get the one case the, that ends me. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Maybe. Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. Of course, because wow. in his attorney, people can get jobs while they're fucking toddlers. 17 years old? That's still high school! Or in, our case, co or in our case, college. Well, hey, that he took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know. <laughs> I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. There's and being progressive, and then there's being the insane. Forever. Yeah, like, what's going over there in yeah. Europe, Pedro? <laughs> Uh, what? I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know any prestigious UK law school. Well, according to Grady's attorney, Dweebs, your country allows five-year-old girls to get medical PhDs. Yeah, true. Well, Capcom's weird like that. What? A, why about what they were saying on the news about just evidence? So yeah, wouldn't it be like, right? Ever stopped, like that's ever stopped Phoenix before. They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Yeah, of course, right as he was starting to get famous, of course Phoenix has to fall from fame. Which is, again, this is kind of a running thing. People who, you know, were high and mighty before, but now are here and depressed. However, again, like Bruce Brothers 2000. Here's the thing, though. Before I may have complimented... <sighs> okay, I, I may have complimented how Emma does it, but that doesn't mean she's perfect, and Phoenix is this done even worse. Let's just say this audience-induced... Uh, darkness I apathy. Used to audience apathy. The point being is like, well, again, they're showing that this is a more darker tone story where, you know, a lot of bad stuff has happened to good people. Typical. But the problem is, the problem wait, wait, is wait, wait, they wait. keep... Hold it, hold it, hold it. What year was this released? I forgot. 2007, uh, 2007. in Japan, Japan, where else? Hmm, it'd be too late for that, but the, considering the pattern and everything, it actually reminds me of Devil May Cry 2 in that way. Yeah, but, well, well, here's the thing, Tio, KJ Nafune was the executive producer for this game, and he was the one who kind of, you know, did executive well, management. KJ Nafune was not uh, involved in the Mimic 2, but the things in there are the same. Dante is much more, has lost all comedic effect, he's much more toned down, things are more depressing, and there's an implied the fault on grace uh, subtext. When did you say Devil May Cry 2 was made? 2003, so four years before this. 
<laughs> Maybe but, they thought that if it didn't work for Devil May Cry, by, it would well, work well, for Devil by, by this time, Devil May Cry 3 was released, so we already fixed that technically. Well, I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright. I mean, you know, like I said, with Emma, at least she gets to, you know, act like her old self at times. Phoenix, though, we have to wait. Don't worry, guys. We'll, uh, we'll find out about his forgery. So, uh, case four. Yeah, mm -hmm. case, case four. But I'll be honest, um, I'll be honest, even in his, even during that, even during the trial in case four, I don't really like that Phoenix there. Oh, trust me, Dwibs, I agree with you. But let's say back from when we get to that. Is, is it there where we get to? least a brief gumshoe appearance? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, Jeremy, you, you two again. Uh, go for a deeper voice, Jeremy. You kind of sound a bit like Phoenix. Wow. Oh, when will you learn? Look at me. Whoever you... How... It shouldn't it be whoever, not however you want? No, no. no, 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 no right, never right, mind, God dang it, I misread. Look, look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. You did the translation for this. Sure, if I were you, look what we have. If I can imagine Trucy's plastered uh, in his face and uh, showing. Why does it? Uh, yeah, why does it say? Why does it say hit request on it? <laughs> it doesn't. No, no, that'd be the plot twist if it did. What's this? <laughs> Detective Sky. Honestly, I think handing him an empty envelope that just read hit request would be enough for him to just step aside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin. Today it's Detective Sky. You know, with Trucy being a quote gangster, Who are you two? <laughs> really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you've got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have rubble, fun. Rubble, rubble. Thank you, officer. Mr. You're welcome. Officer. That's Mr. Officer to you, Shiori. But officer is already like a, a respectable. Mr. Officer. officer. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, police brutality. Anyway, uh, here we go. The Maractus Clinic. Indoors. Oh, there's a teddy bear. How nice of him. Oh. Kind of, an, kind of an at home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. Gee, I wonder cool, what could it be? It's not like I'm a sure of it. throwing it in my face. <laughs> the police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived. Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. After all, the investigation core theme's playing. Huh. Yeah, so at least we're getting closer to the ending of the investigation segment of this case. Come on. There's a single pair of sandals here. A bunch of them there. Yeah, Wait, there's but... a, a truesy turn around. <laughs> Wait, um, but no, no, why no, would no. there be sandals here? She's talking about that one shoe there. It's for hygienic precaution. Oh, oh okay. But she oh, said a single pair of sandals. That's... Is that a common thing you see in hospitals, Tio? Not always, but uh, basically, if you're a patient, you are actually giving, given you have, you have the option of either bringing a pair of uh, slippers from you to home or to get one of these. Employers need to have uh, something like that uh, obligatorily for hygienic purposes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people yeah. I know just take their own stuff into hospital. Yeah. Anyway. What? Why'd they leave without their shoes? They wanted oh. to do a barefoot walk. Oh, part, of part of their rehabilitation. Better take a closer look at these, just in case. From panties to foot fetishes. Pick your poison. Anyway, sandals and into the court record. There you go. We, we bought the judge's see? wife a new pair of sandals. See, 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 one pair. One shoe there, two shoes just blocking the other one. Look at all these balls. They're from Eldoon's noodles. There's Mr. Salty. So. Wow. Mr. Salty. Then I think we figured something out. 
So Palmeractus was petty enough to steal his bowls, too. I think we have. Mr. Aldoon, must you take out? Um... Close. Not exactly what I was... All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Truce. Alright, that's one clue found. Let's go and uh, see if we can see any more. There we are. These must be the slippers from patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Well, I have fun oh. fun enough. The Dark has a soap here in the UK about Nick. So. Uh -huh. Look, a single called, pair is missing from the rack here, too. It's called Doctors, aka the only soap Birmingham makes nowadays. And also yes. paint on the bottom. Which means they were taken out of here at. On the night of the murder, yep, sorry about that. So well, everyone right. else's dialogue is paced for me, but Trucy's is paced for everyone else. <laughs> wow. I made, mis I made a mistake. <laughs> so, should we just swap things, have Shiroi voice everyone else, and then we take turns voicing Trucy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can make Trucy a uh, multi... Trucy is the best... Trucy is the greatest voice actress ever. Yeah, she's able to swap her voice with other people's. Look. This door says doctor's office. Hmm. Oh, it says examinations. <laughs> I think this is the victim's private office. It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? Because we can make it an accident. I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Proceed. Um... Oh, Tio, trust me. Wait till you see some of her other hobbies in 5 this and 6. Is, this is not Skyrim. Come on, sweetie, pull down the key. Michael, yeah, don't bother. <laughs> That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people. Of. Yeah. Unless That's one of... Soft. She'd probably love Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Uh, what, uh, what happened? Huh? Uh, Apollo, that sound. It came from behind this door. Let me guess, there's another corpse, another... Although it's only deserving of the 2001 tension theme. But I Someone's like the in there! 2001 theme. I like it too, but I'd have thought the other one would have been more appropriate. Depends. Let's check it out, Trucy! A brick- oh yeah, now they use it. A brick in! You went through that window! There you go, wish received. What the what hell is the point? Wait, Apollo, you're too late to catch them now. That's all the earlier one. That must be her experience as a panty snatcher chaser talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should call, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. Uh, yeah. Looks like this doctor may have been doing some dealings with Umbrella Corps. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. Gosh, he's better at this than I am. What, you like, mean, uh, doing see, gee, uh, it's it's like, it's, gee, it's like stuff? Gee, it's like Trucy should be the main character or something. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. Hmm. Because they did in the very Yeah. Before. Oh, oh boy. Well, that so, was so. a massive shift in tone. And now back so. to the more chill investigation. Yeah, so the, the oh, opening. Oh, well, we one got away. Let's carry on. Kind of, sorry, it's a looking lamp, isn't it? Very poor in taste, I'm mad. It, oh, is it a jade lamp? Emerald. Hey, the bulbs broke it. Well, there was a break in Tracy. Are you surprised? Tracy. Trucy. Trucy. I can't, read, I can't read today. I'm sorry. Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No, a cat burglar must have dropped it. I'm not sure why they would steal a ball, but sure. They were really Maybe desperate. Maybe it was a real cat, he just dropped it like that. But why is it standing up on the floor like that, then? Hmm. Hey, look at the cord. Oh, the plug's all wrong. <laughs> oh, that's right, you Brits, you Brits use that weird contraption for a... We use three pins, not two. 
We, we use also, a mixture of both. We also use free pins, but yours just look weird to us. Yeah. Well, yours looks weird to us, so... Japan uses two it works, pins. It works both ways. But actually, Culture companies are so references. weird. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is why we in America just use both. Actually, whatever, I'll give, I'll give the chart in the meantime, keep reading. But yeah, you're right about the bigger bulk end of a British one. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for mm -hmm. I find that American plugs are too, like, easily removable, though. It that's depends. Like, I think that's oh, why we insane. use three pins, they're harder to remove. Plus they're tighter. Hmm, it's like a four-digit lock. Safes usually are. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. Some safes are uh, digits. Some uh, some use them weird wheel thingies. Those are pretty old, though. I think someone's already entering the two numbers. Apollo seven nine. Wait, do you think that burglar just now was trying to open it? Well, her dude didn't do a very good and job. We have half the code. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thank you. Wonder what's inside the safe. Hmm. Is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Hmm. It's written underneath the safe, isn't it? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. No, so we're gonna use something more. We're gonna use a more intelligent way to look at it. Yep. Maybe there's something in the court record. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers, but well, it's clearly not someone's date of birth. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> well, I have an idea. Let's test it. I knew it, Apollo. What is it? If you knew it, then you should know it. Translation <laughs> Wow. All we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. Oh, fingerprints. Mm hmm We can use this to find out what the next the two badger, numbers are. The badger. And the hey, When you press the buttons, you need to have to touch them. Mm -hmm. And the prints are fresh, too. Un like, unless please... you just slam your fist, like in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> prints on things like this don't last very long, but if you find them early enough, you can get them. Mm-hmm. You leave a print. When you open a save, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, white. Unless you're clumsy. Hmm, so if we can find the buttons with fingerprints... We'll have the safe code. Bingo. Not bad, Apollo. Alright, let's uh, dust it down and see which ones the burglars pressed. Uh, just, just, yep, just butter them down everything. Mm hmm. There we go. Look, you can see the oily finger rated use clearly. Also, nice to see the stats about Chelsea. Yeah. Look at seven and nine. Uh huh. These are glove marks. Burglar must have been wearing gloves. Lucky us. We might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. Pick an order, get the right one, and... There we go. Oh, it's one of those uh, kitties. Oh, okay. yeah. The uh, lucky charm. Uh... Yeah, I forget what they're actually called. Yeah, China cat? No. I think they have specific terms, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 you wait, you know the thing about China cats, Roy. No, I don't. I'm just saying that that's not what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but I know it's not. <laughs> yeah. There's an x-ray in here with the... the an x-ray? Hmm, can't make heads or tails of it. Duh, I'm a portal. How do I read? And I can't read the chart either. It's all in medical speak. Knowing that he's medical probably... speak. <laughs> Yeah. Google it, Apollo. Google it. This is the future after all. But the names are easy enough to read. By patient, it's... Walkie. So this is Walkie, a client's chart. Hmm. Interesting. 
Why would this one chart be here in this safe? Let's see. The physician's signature says Palmaractus. Eh? What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Who was he? Let's see who. Let's see. Nurse Alita Tiala. Tiala. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Alita Tiala. Tialita. Tialita? Tialita. I thought it was Tiala. Oops. Oh, that oh, was it. It's too many, Apollo. All right. Apollo. Apollo. What's her name doing here? Uh, wow. So, so we're just taking a dig at the dodgy localization at times. Well, not so much dodgy localization, know. but the misspelling. Yeah. So I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic, and also those cats are called Maneki Neko. No, no, Siri. Siri, don't you mean clinic kick? What? I had to see neglect, you know, if we're going by Apollo Low, what clinic kick? Whatever, let's move on. Let's not run the joke too much into the ground. So, Elita Tiala, we're after the Maractus click. That's interesting to know. Yeah, especially because she's in And she had access to Maki Kutaki's medical chart. Hmm. You got the I and Y wrong, Apollo. <laughs> wow, okay. Maybe this was them taking a dig at it. Especially since they did bring back the original localization team from the first game to do Apollo Justice, since you know this was kind of a new era of sorts, so and this would game not was surprise made for the me. Purpose of being localized too. Yeah. Like, I'll give Apollo Justice this. For as many problems as it did have, it is surprisingly was the best selling Ace Attorney game because of the hype towards it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Yeah, a bullet. What, and what kind of gun is that powerful to, you know, have a hole? Not to... only that, Tio, but the bullet is on the inside, but there's no bullet hole on the outside. Maybe the safe was open and uh, someone shot through it or something. We went to shoot someone, but it hit the safe. Not surprising, given it was whatever. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. How about those ballistic markings? Hmm, oh, bit, bit hard to tell though, because again, it's all squished. True. Oh, I don't think we're going to be worrying about ballistic markings in this part. More so, what gun the bullet came from and who owned said gun. Which you will hopefully find out more in the next part. I, yeah. I doubt it, but, but we'll find out eventually. So, see ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Ta -ta.